Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so grateful, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I am back for another one. I have some amazing things I cannot wait to share and show you. So let's get into it and at the end we will stick around for our few moments of happiness and joy together and it makes me so happy to do that with you guys. So let's Let's get started. I am super duper excited. For the first time ever, 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 I found a Disney Dorables box all by myself. I did. I found it full and ready to go. And I took 12 Disney Dorable blind bags out of it because I definitely wanted to save some for people to enjoy finding because I know it has been so difficult for some of us to find a full box of Disney Dorables at the Dollar Tree. Now these are so much fun as you guys may or may not know. These are blind bags. You don't know what Disney character you're going to get inside of them. And they are just such a good time to open up. Find and just love them to pieces. So I've been collecting these since before Christmas and they are the cutest things ever. Disney Dorables, that's what they're called. And I, the whole box was sitting there and I'm like, nope, I'm going to just take 12 and leave the rest because I know everybody is going to be super duper happy. Now, a lot of us thought maybe they were just going to come out over like Christmas time. But you know what? They didn't. They keep coming out randomly in the stores, so don't give up hope. So at the end, we'll open two blind bags today. So stick around for that at the end. And I was super pumped about that first and foremost. Now, the other thing that I was so incredibly happy and pumped about was the fact that I found some amazing, amazing books. And there is a great collection of them. Books are so important to me, so important for reading, knowledge, and encouragement to just, you know, take some downtime. And these are such a gift to find great books at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. You can donate them, you can gift them away, you can use them for your own children's library, and they are so fantastic. So I found these two right here in the Arthur line. This is level two reading, and the stories in here are fantastic. This is a paperback book, and the illustrations are are so incredibly amazing. I will show you one page in each book. So beautiful and wonderful. Such a gift to have these storybooks on hand. Then this one is called, um, oh, this one is Arthur Clean Your Room. How silly am I? I didn't even read the title. What a goof. Now this is Arthur Arthur and the New Kid, level two reading. So really, really great. If you're moving, your child's about to be in a new school, this is so great to maybe prepare them for the move and being a new kid. Such an amazing, amazing pickup for this and just to have on hand for bedtime stories. So you know I love that. Now we have a lot, a lot of storybooks to actually skim through here because I found a whole ton. And I did look for an original price on these because I do not think that these come from the Dollar Tree, but I could not find it. These are paperback books and they are beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. That's When I'm Happy is the name of this one right here. Whole entire book basket for Easter gifting, and that is amazing. These are really, really long stories as well. Such a great, you know, great moment to spend with your child. So picked those up, and you know what? You will catch me reading a children's storybook because I have plenty of them to go through, and I think that they're all amazing. This one right here is Edward Built a Rocket Ship so so beautiful and cute and again same type of length of the first one that I showed you all of the illustrations are bright vibrant and so much fun so much fun look at how beautiful that is so there is that one then we have a wolf at the door and that is so so cute this is a spin-off of like the three little pigs that has a little bear friend now on the scene so let me find you a really, really amazing page to look at. So cute. The wolf is coming for these babies. Look at those sweet little three pigs over there. And that was one of my favorite story time, you know, children's books ever. This one is my special bedtime bear. So perfect. 
And look at that beautiful scene right there of them walking off into the sunset. So we have this beautiful page right here. And let me show you at least one more. Oh, I flipped right to the same page. How amazing was that? <laughs> then we have this page right here. Really, really fantastic. I was so jumping for joy when I found all of these. This one I think is so incredibly cute. The Ratty Racers, that's what it's called. And all the little rodents are riding in their go-karts and everything. And I love, love, love that pinwheel right there. That pinwheel had my heart on the front of this page. The pictures are so vibrant. This one looks fun, entertaining, and exciting. And I just absolutely, absolutely love it. So, oh my goodness, was I not thrilled? Was I very, very thrilled or what? This one is I Love You, Elfie Cub. And look at those beautiful foxes on there. And then we have this beautiful page right here. And then we also have another beautiful page right there but all of the pages are beautiful. I spent like a good half an hour skimming through all the pages and I probably will read one little by little. And then this one is called, If You Can, We Can. And that is perfect, perfect with the bunnies on it for Easter time. So we have that beautiful page. And let's see, that's, oh, look at how sweet that is right there with the pot on his head. How cute and adorable. Love it, love it love it and then last but not least we have this one and this one says who's been eating my porridge so the three little bear type of uh book this one has a little a little uh tag on the back it says dear little bear uh dear little bear please come to an amazing porridge party to welcome home the three bears p.s i've borrowed your porridge pot <laughs> love goldilocks i love that so much so really really so incredible and i was more than thrilled to find all these books so whether you have kids nieces nephews you know if you love to donate like me that is such such a blessing now i found this right here in the storage bin section and i was super excited this is closet essentials collapsible storage container this is a 10 and a half by 11 inch by 10 and a half inch uh, collapsible storage and I absolutely love the design on it and I thought how perfect is this to put those books inside of maybe give you guys an idea you know if your children's library is outside of their bedroom or something like that to carry in the week's worth of bedtime books inside of this set that next to their bed so that they can pull out their storybooks I love 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 the, um, the pattern on here this time around, summer is coming. I am a beach girl, but they have so many others to choose from that are plain, some with other types of designs on it, but I definitely wanted this one because that one was just too pretty for words and it's a really decent size. So I know I can use that storage for myself. Now, where shall we go? where shall we go i'm gonna go with the easter signs really quick that i picked up and i really really loved so much the easter colors are my favorite i love pastels this one says easter joy and it's so incredibly beautiful that little chicky is a little addition piece so he's popped out just a little bit but i love the look of that sign i think it's so pretty for your wall your door what have you really beautiful then we also have this one that says happy Easter and the carrot is a little addition piece on there also so if that one pops out just a little bit and I do love the wood background with the little grass coming up and the flowers on the bottom I think that that is so beautiful so I picked those two new signs up from the Easter section and you know I loved them so there is that now my little darlings the packaging got a little duffed out in the bag on the way home but I picked this beautiful color up and where it's already opening I will just show it to you right out of the package this is the Revlon lip color and this says Revlon cushion lip tint and it's really pretty it's a nice mauve color the number on it is 220 
And look at how beautiful that is. That is really quite stunning and beautiful. So I was really happy to pick up that shade right there. Then I also got this beautiful one from the Revlon Lip Color. And we'll open this one as well. Let's just do it, guys. Let's do it. Now, this one I think is super duper pretty. It's almost like a rose gold color. Really so beautiful. Oh, I wish that this didn't have all of the wrappings on it because it's just going to take too long. Maybe I'll swatch these and put a picture on my community tab that's right here on this channel and share a picture with you to show you what it looks like. So this one is Revlon Kiss Cloud Blotted Lip Color. And that is really, really stunningly pretty. So I picked those up and I thought that those were fancy. Then I grabbed myself a brand new headband that I have never one time ever seen before. And I love, love, love the beautiful white with the little daisies all over it. I absolutely love the beautiful bow on top. And that's a kind of first for me because I don't really remember seeing too many offered with the bow right on top. I usually find them with the top notch, uh, the top knot, which is my favorite, but the bow is going to look super duper cute too. And I love the thickness and the white crepiness of the band. It's really nice. So spring and summer, that's a cute little headband to have on your hairdo, on your hairdo. Now I did find some fun stuff from the, now I've never seen this any other place other than the Hooksit New Hampshire Dollar Tree. They have like a whole wedding section there. And as we know, when spring and summer comes, those weddings start happening lickety split. And I thought that this was really, really cute for those of you that know people that are getting married, you know, yourself, your daughter, you know, who, what, whoever, whoever is getting married to make them a beautiful little bridal package. This is wedding nail file. There's three pieces and these are beautiful, just beautiful emery boards to file your nails. This one says bride on it. Then the bottom one says team bride, but I mean, anybody can use those. They're just beautiful. I think that they're quite lovely and I like that there's three in a package. So if you want them, just pick them up whether you're a bride or not. <laughs> That's what I say. Um, and then these nails right here from B, B Color. This is stiletto shape and they have those cool little wine glasses on them. This one says um, protection, bride protection team on the nails. Really, really cute sets. They did have a couple of others to choose from. There are 12 pieces in there. So I loved that a whole big bunch. And now I found this beautiful veil. I found this beautiful, wonderful veil right here. That is what it looks like on. I think it's really quite lovely and fluffy and nice. And it does say bride to be on it in that beautiful rose gold looking color. So really, really spectacular and pretty. Every single time the spring and the summer comes, I swear, everybody announces that they are getting married and those wedding invitations come pouring in. So finding these things is always like good for me to hold in like a little stash so that I can gift them away. Not that I'm going to any like, you know, bridal showers anymore. I'm a little out of that ballpark at this point. So nobody that I know has been getting married for a while. But a lot of the newer, younger generations are coming up and they're talking about marriage, marriage, marriage. So I actually have one coming up this spring. And so that is pretty cool. And then, and then, oh, then I found these favor boxes in that same wedding section. This is a five piece of favor boxes and they are beautiful. They're just so lovely and beautiful, but I'm going to use these for Easter time. I'm going to throw a little bit of green grass in the bottom, like Easter grass. And then we love to dye and decorate eggs. So I thought maybe put like three eggs in them that are hard boiled and dyed and gift them away to my neighbors with some other baked treats on the side for an Easter little gift to give them because I love to gift away to my neighbors. And I really think those boxes are quite pretty. And I can doll them up with some Easter stickers too. Then I found this wonderful burlap banner and it is quite, quite beautiful. It looks like it's nice, long and lengthy. This was also in the wedding section and I plan on hot gluing 
some really pretty Easter decorations on each of the burlap pieces and making a whole entire Easter garland out of this. So I love that. I think it's really nice. Maybe if I even just do it for springtime and speckle flowers all over it and hot glue them on, I think it would be really pretty. So I have a couple of different ways that this could go. And I love that. The string comes in it. So you just have to loop all the burlap little tabs on it and it will come out really really nice i think it's beautiful just plain as well if you wanted to string it like along your uh porch railing or a fence you know in your in your property that would be really really cute now where should we head because we have so much stuff um we're gonna show you this really quick so they did have some brand new planner stickers and my best friend Jessica that lives in Florida we've been friends best friends for I think this is 33 years and she is like my sister from another mister um there's 300 pieces in here Jessica I swear has been using a planner since we were like 12 or 13 she won't go anywhere without it so when I found these brand new packages I had to pick her up one and I thought they were so cute this says boss babe down here so I zeroed right in on it because she is a boss babe and these have so many great things this is important make time coffee first dream big goals um time to relax unplug day off deadlines heart stickers get stuff done stickers life is good stickers so we have this whole front and a whole sheet on the back so, and they did have a couple to choose from, but this one I definitely thought was way up her alley and I was happy to grab that for her. Now I found another Glade. How many of these are going to be out there? I'm so excited. Keep them coming. They smell so amazing in my car. I love them. So this is the three, uh, the three pack of Glade air fresheners and you know I love that three pack for $1.25 and this one is apple cinnamon apple cinnamon is my mom's favorite scent in a scent that is like her signature scent for like candles in her house and everything like that so I picked these up for her in her car and I love my Glade air fresheners that I've picked up so far they smell magical in my vehicle so I loved that then I found, then I found an Arm & Hammer brand Essentials new hand soap that I have never seen before. This is with gentle baking soda. It's dye-free, no parabens, not tested on animals, and vegan. This is liquid hand soap, gentle rose water, washes away bacteria, and it's 12 fluid ounces. So this is a hefty little bottle right here, and we go out of soap like nobody's business because we are constantly washing our hands everywhere through the house wherever there is a soap dispenser to have so I love this and I love the rose water it, and you know I sniffed it and it smells really really fantastic so I was happy 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 to have grabbed that and have that in my stash now these I did pre-open the um the fabric swatches because I want to roll them right up for you but these are the crafters square ones right here and this is the 18 by 21 inches of fabric and as you guys know I have been making knot banners and everything else and my friend Sandra showed me that she she did a knot banner type of wreath form and it came out so beautifully. So I've already ripped these open for you so that we could do it a little bit quicker. I had to show you the beautiful patterns on these. I loved all four that I'm about to show you and I'm going to put them together on a wreath form that I also picked up. So this one with the galvanized metal buckets, it says home on it. It's just so magnificent and pretty. Then we have this one right here from the Crafter Square, 18 by 21 inches. And will you look at those beautiful, wonderful, fantastic bicycles with the beautiful sunflowers in them and that gorgeous blue background. So there is that one right there. And I think that's stunning. Now we have this lovely one, which is the 18 by 21 inches again, and this one is all sunflowers. 
And I love, love, love the sunflowers. It's so vibrant, pretty, and just gorgeous. So I can't wait to mingle these all together. And I hope it comes out really, really cute. And you know I will show you on my community tab that's right here on this channel. Now, last but not least, the fourth one that I found in the 18 by 21 inches of fabric is this beautiful one right here with the trucks and the beautiful daisies coming out of the back with the greenery. And I love the darker blue background. It really makes the other colors pop. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's absolutely beautiful. So I hope you love all those fabrics. Those are totally new to me. And I'm super thrilled about them. Now, this is the wire wreath form that I picked out. I love the square wire wreath forms. I think that they're fantastic. They're in an excellent, excellent size to use. Makes a nice big surface to kind of build off of. And I think they are really, really pretty. I have plenty of circular ones, but I do love the square. So I picked up this big, big, big beautiful one. I actually picked up three of them because I plan on making a lot, a lot of pretty wreaths over the next couple of months. So there is that one. But um, the Methuen, Massachusetts one that I went to on Route 28, that's next to the Texas Roadhouse, I'm being real specific. They have probably the most um, wire wreath forms that I've ever seen anywhere in all different shapes and sizes. So I was really happy to grab the square ones because I haven't seen them too many other places. Now my little muffins. I did pick these up for my son for his lunch box and I think he's going to really be thrilled about this. This is a four pack in here. They're from Kellogg's and this is Crunch Mania. Bite size cinnamon buns graham crackers. So they feel like they're decently stuffed little bags. And the fact that there's four of them for $1.25, I think is really, really good. So I hope that he is going to be super excited about those for a little treat for his lunchtime over the next week. And I'm always happy to grab him stuff, you know, to stock up in his snack section because he has long work days like everybody in this building him and my husband work super super long work days so there's that now to recap okay the canvases these beautiful canvases that i showed you i believe it was happy wednesday dollar tree haul i did find what i am going to do with them now i found these beautiful wonderful metal flowers right here they do have a hanging piece if you are just going to use them um for hanging individually they have that right there to be able to hang. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them in the middle of this particular canvas, these two colors together, and adhere it right to the canvas. And then I'm going to get some sticky tabs that are safe for the wall. And I am going to use these as wall hangings. I might even embellish them a little bit more, but that this far I've found what I'm going to do with them. So here's the silver 8x10 canvas and then this pink flower. There were three flowers and I found these in the hooks at New Hampshire Dollar Tree. So right here, this beautiful pink one, metal, beautiful flower against the silver. So I picked that up for that canvas. And then I picked up this gorgeous uh, cream looking one against the pink 8x10 canvas right there. And I'm going to use some hot glue, stick those babies right on and make it magical. So that is it. That is it, my sweet, sweet darlings. I love you guys so much. That is Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. I love you guys so incredibly much. If you are new here, hi, I'm Callan. I would love it if you'd stick around, stay. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. Here on this channel, I do Dollar Tree Hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays, and it is my happy place, and I'm super duper grateful thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I have so much fun spending time with you. So thank you for spending time with me. Now to open up a couple of the Disney Dorable blind bags like I promised you that I got today from the Dollar Tree. My sweet muffins. Look at what I found. I love them. I'm so excited. You know I love them so much. So we are going to slice and dice to open every single time I do a haul at the end. So let's see who we got. 
We got Pumba. We got Pumba from Lion King in one of the bags. So Pumba it is. Then in that, woo, I almost dropped it because I'm clumsy. Then in the second Disney Dorable blind bag, let to Missy who we got. We got, is this Ducky? That's his name from Toy Story. Is it Ducky? I hope it's Ducky. And if it's not, just correct me down below. <laughs> so that is who we got out of the cute little Disney Dorable blind bags this time around. And I love them so much. I've been collecting Disney Dorables now for a couple uh, a couple of months since before Christmas and they have just made me so happy and have a really good time now to go to my chit chat portion of this I want to show you my continued collection of the Disney Dorables that I have already received and have in my stash so now these are mine that I've already had on hand this is baby princess Tiana and that's the little boy from up and I did love that movie and watch it several times, but I can't remember his name, but he's the one from Up. Then we have beautiful, beautiful Mulan, and we have Peter Pan. Peter Pan wanted to fly away. Peter Pan took a dive. <laughs> he was like, I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> so we have Peter Pan and Mulan. So those are the four that I've already had in my collection. I'm so, so excited and happy to have found those in my, in my stash so far. And now last but not least, we are still on my love for you prompt journal that I filled out for my husband for our Valentine's Day gift. And this is what I gave to him and he absolutely loved it. So we are going to continue to read on and we are on page we are on page this is the page that we are on in the book and this page says if we were a crime fighting duo we'd be the free heroes that's what i wrote as the answer it says free heroes you know why because we love to go out we love to yard sale thrift shop and at the end of a long yard sale day when everybody pulls their stuff to the front of the house we love to go back circle around and go through all of the free stuff at the end of the day <laughs> so that's a lot of what we do in the spring summer and fall and it is a super fun time on Saturdays and Sundays. So that is it. That is it, my little sweet honeys. Thank you guys so much for being here with me. Now go be happy, love, blessed, kind, and amazing to one another for the next couple of days until I see you on Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I love you guys so incredibly much. Bye, everyone.